So the Speaker of the House saying that he's not running again is a really significant development uh, in this midterm election year. It means a couple of things. It means, one, that the Republicans are going to have a lame duck speaker through the midterm elections, which could impact their ability to get what was already going to be a pretty modest agenda uh, through before November. It could impact their fundraising in the November elections. The speaker is technically the the speaker is typically the biggest fundraiser for GOP candidates. Now you may have some donors saying that they're going to sit on the sidelines because the third impact of this is it really does seem to send a signal that Ryan and other Republican leaders think that their prospects of holding the majority in November are pretty shaky. So Republicans are racking up a pretty impressive number of retirements heading into the November elections. They're just above 40 now with Paul Ryan and another member saying that they're going to leave. That is extraordinary. And it really has Republicans worried because members are essentially in a lot of competitive states choosing to uh, just step aside rather than risk running and and uh, losing. But there are also broader dynamics that you need to look at here. There is the dynamic with the Republican prospects of taking the majority back. No one wants to be minority leader. It's not a particularly attractive job, particularly if they've already been speaker. And then there's his relationship with President Trump. On a personal level, these two men who are quite different actually have a pretty decent uh, relationship. They talk quite frequently. The president calls Paul Ryan on his cell phone often. Uh, so there is a, a good personal relationship that has developed, but Ryan often finds himself in this position where he is the one that has to rush over to the White House to try to convince the president to either support something uh, legislatively that his staff has already negotiated with the GOP, or he needs to rush over there to try to get the president to back off a controversial position that he's taken. And that's a pretty exhausting thing for the speaker. It's a lot of responsibility. And he's kind of fighting from both, getting, getting pressure from both sides where he has members of his caucus who want him to be playing that sort of grown up in the room role with Trump. And then he has other members who come from districts where Trump is extremely popular, 80 percent of the vote. If President Trump doesn't have a Republican House majority, suddenly not only is his agenda imperiled, but this question of impeachment, do Democrats try to take the president out, it becomes very real. Democrats on the campaign trail, especially uh, liberal Democrats in safe districts, are throwing out the impeachment word. Uh, there's mixed feelings in the caucus about whether that's something that they should do or not, but it certainly would be on the table. In particular, if Bob Mueller, the special counsel, were to have something of significance in his investigation to actually send up to Congress, something really tangible.